this matchup in the 70 kilo division featuring Dave Tiernan in the black shorts with the white trim and his opponent Marty the Jackal Kelly he wears the black shorts some of the best thighs I've seen on a lightweight mark aggressive there from Kelly starts throwing that big left hand and de dealt with very calmly by by David Tiernan as he works for his takedown which is obviously part of his game plan yeah, Tiernan fighting out of uh, Torres Jiu Jitsu so obviously uh, more of a grappling school wants this on the map and Marty Kelly comes to MMA from a boxing background he did boxing for three or four years before deciding to switch to MMA Real clash of styles here tonight, then, Mark. Absolutely. Dave Turner describes himself as a, as a strong grappler, being excellent on the ground. Yeah, we, don't, we don't often get to see striker versus grappler anymore. No, you've got... I'm, I'm sure both these guys are well-rounded as well. You can see Kelly, he's, uh, he's working that takedown defense really well. He's driving his hips to the mat, and he's stopping his opponent from advancing and putting him on his back. So, you know, these guys aren't just, don't just have one strong suit. You know, it appears Kelly, at least, has definitely got, you know, other tools in his arsenal. I couldn't agree more. As Kelly now works to mount. Yeah, that's a good position for Kelly. Trapped in the half guard, but for ground and pound, you know, using that control of, of having the one leg, it can really help you land some more effective shots and control your opponent on the bottom. Kelly but tries for a key lock on the far side. He doesn't seem to have the leverage, but he, he also seems like he has a big power advantage over Dave. Yeah, he, he looks quite the specimen at the weight. Looks like a strong, powerful guy, as you say, Mark. Uh. But the element of uh, jiu-jitsu is obviously to overcome stronger, bigger opponents. Absolutely, so. and a wise man once told me that you shouldn't judge a fighter by his six-pack. <laughs> Just minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's starting to solidify his position on top now, starting to work in with some strikes. Pressuring the head of Dave Tiernan. But Tiernan really struggling on the bottom against a guy who's obviously strong as Kelly. He's, he's struggling to shift him and move his weight. Although he is trying and he manages to regain the full guard. Uh, educated hip, says Dave Tiernan, as he finds his way back to guard. Still being pressed up against the fence by Kelly. Obviously has more options from this position. We'll, we'll see. Uh, Kelly looks to have a really good base and he postures up to try and land some heavy strikes. And Tiernan reacts immediately by trying to gab, grab a leg. Eating a couple of shots in the process as he hangs on. Yep. Kelly is uh, obviously very well versed in, in defending a jiu-jitsu fighter. Landing some big left hands. Nice. It looks as though after that first round, that while, while, while Kelly was certainly in the ascendancy, Tiernan was able to defend against any major damage. Well, I'm sure it wasn't pleasurable being underneath the barrage of Kelly for the first round. He seems ready to go for the second. Yep, he's, as you say, he's done a good job. He's, whilst he was stuck underneath for a lot of the round, he didn't really get hit with that many big shots. So, you know, he should be still quite fresh for round two, but maybe he needs to kind of implement his own game plan a little bit more. And against the guy who who's got good posture and good hips like that, nullifying your attacks from the bottom, needs to try and uh, work on top, although easier said than done. Well, Tiernan's certainly trying to stick to his own game plan. When I talked to him earlier, he said the plan was to close early and finish him on the ground. The problem, of course, you're dealing with someone as powerful as Kelly, is it's not quite that easy. Yep. Tiernan, uh, a tall guy for the weight, you know, long limbs from the back, guys with that, that body style often you see him good with uh, attacks from the guard, you know, triangles, arm bars, but he wasn't really able to get anything off in the first round. A sidekick to start from Kelly's, he lands a, he lands a left hand. Tini's chin is dangerously high there. And it looks like, looks like Kelly has spotted as he throws another left straight, but diving underneath for a double leg is Dave Tiernan. Fast reactions from Kelly, I'm impressed with his sprawl. He's starting to develop some red welts on that side of his body from the damage being thrown by Marty Kelly. 
Yep, good, good, really strong spell there from Kelly so far. He's really stopping his, his man from advancing the position, grabbing his hips in tight and putting him on his back. And what can Dave Tiernan do to defeat the sprawl and get the takedown he so richly desires? Well, when a guy's got a sprawl as heavy as that and his hips are so close to the mat, you're going to really struggle. I think he needs to try and abandon that tact and try and search for uh, a takedown, not from a shoot, but maybe on the, uh, on the cage, maybe a trip of some sort because uh, Kelly's takedown defence from the double leg just looks too good for, uh, for Tiernan. And Tiernan finds himself back on bottom now, secures half guard after his attempt to get the double leg and convert it into a takedown have failed. Due in large part to the heavy sprawl you've been talking about, Jay, on, on the part of Marty Kelly. The uh, infamous six months of sprawl training. I'm not <laughs> sure what Kelly's been doing, but... Obviously, as a well-versed boxer, he's added more tools to his game and he's paying dividends for him at Clan Wars 12 tonight as he dominates this fight so far. Absolutely. I asked him if he had a game plan in particular and he said he was just focused on winning and he didn't care how. Bludgeons his man there. <laughs> That's a lot of shots landing. The referee's having a long look at Tiernan. He's thinking about stopping the fight and he's made the decision. Marty, the Jackal Kelly wins by TKO in the second round. Looks like a real good prospect, Mark. Great win for him there tonight against the obviously competent jiu-jitsu fighter. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by TKO in the second round, Marty, the Jackal Kelly.